Snow Strong? Rad Racer is a racing game, obviously for NES, back in... Wait, does that say Square? As in Squaresoft? They did this game? Before you get too excited, no, there's no spiky-haired anime characters or any psychopaths hellbent on ruling the world. Rad Racer, though, is a pretty good but very limited game where you race against the clock instead of other racers, kind of like Excite Bike. These other cars just are there to get in your way. And holy crap, the further you get into this game, you will be shouting at the top of your lungs at these assholes. There's a total of eight races on eight tracks, and there are three checkpoints for each race that reset the timer. When you run out of time, you coast until you come to a depressing halt. There's two different cars to choose from, but don't be fooled, there's no functional difference between the two, it's all superficial. Again, like Excite Bike, there's normal acceleration and turbo acceleration. However, instead of overheating, you just go way too fast and slam into trees and other roadside hazards, which make for some spectacular crashes. That's the biggest obstacle in the game, obviously. If you can avoid these screw-ups by driving conservatively on turns but accelerating on straightaways, you'll do well in Rad Racer. There's some unexpected features here as well, like the ability to change the music by pressing down, of all things. There's three tracks to choose from, and that's kind of a nice touch. It's like having a radio that only plays three songs. Or another words like having a radio in real life. Am I right? Huh? Yeah. There's also a goofy 3D mode that's activated when you press the select button. The game was originally sold with 3D glasses, and that's a nice idea, but yeah, kind of outdated. Anyway, Rad Racer is okay for what it is, but it really shows its age nowadays. It's a very simple, straightforward game, but it lacks the usual Nintendo charm that usually came with limited games like this. Rad Racer isn't bad, it's just okay. Personally, I'd rather play Pole Position or RC Pro-Am to get my NES racing fix. 